everybody. Welcome to my channel, Thrifting Adventures. My channel is all about how to save money from thrifting and make money from thrifting. So I bought a jewelry mystery box or mystery jar, if you want to call it. I haven't bought one for a while from Goodwill because I wasn't having much luck, but I took the chance. I started opening it and it was pretty good. I only got a little ways through it, but I want to show you what I bought and you can let me know if I got ripped off or I got a great deal. All right, let's dive into this mystery jar. All right, so this jewelry mystery jar seemed to have a um, theme to it. Everything was blue and turquoise in it or silver and some gold. So first thing I pulled out was this cute stretchy bracelet with blue rhinestones. I don't know if this is going to focus. So next was this really cute necklace. It has like these little dangly pieces, some little stones, gold tone, and blue, just a long gold chain. And I think it's just, you know, regular costume jewelry, something you find like at Target. And then I've found these before. They're the magnetic bracelet slash necklace. I think this is like called hematite. And you can make it into a necklace or bracelet. It's magnetic. And then I think the other beads are faux pearls and some glass beads. And then we have just this really pretty light blue plastic beads necklace. That's cute. Um, oh my goodness, here we have a super long necklace. It looks like it's tangled up. I don't know if I can untangle this. Alright, next we have this really long necklace. It looks like it's painted metal beads and then I believe these are gold and teal wood beads here. I'm not sure if that's going to focus. So that's really pretty. I mean, you could wear it really long or you could double it up. And we have another super long necklace. And it looks like these beads are a mixture of glass beads and plastic. Okay, so then we have this long necklace like I was showing with the glass beads and a mixture of plastic beads. I love all the coloring with the turquoise and the blue. That's really pretty. And this is definitely a statement piece. <laughs> this turquoise knotted uh, necklace. I don't I think it's a choker. But that is really pretty. That would look cute with a little black dress. Then we have this little pearl necklace. Really lightweight. Probably just plastic beads. Uh, we have this fun stretchy bracelet. And, you know, even if you didn't like this bracelet, you could definitely use these beads for a crafting project or to remake into something else. Then we have a matching necklace and bracelet and I believe these are just plastics really lightweight all right let's dive into this and then they have this plastic kind of gosh, real pale green necklace this is something you probably see like at Target or Kohl's they have this fun watch the enamel floral there it's not working Pretty though. Uh, let's see. Got this fun little, oops, fun little bracelet. This is probably something you'd see like at Claire's. A little boutique. Oh, I got some tangling going on. 
Oh, we got some blue furry ball earrings. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are fun. They're like tangled up. But they're um, two earrings with some beads. And again, this is probably something you'd see at Target, you know, like costume jewelry. Those are fun. Dangly earrings. Then we have a little bracelet with a little owl. Cute. And then this is, looks like someone blinged out a little ponytail holder. Um, oh my goodness, look at this. It's like some kind of keychain. Or it could be a clip. That is blingy. Is there any, does it open? Doesn't seem to open. Maybe it's just for looks. Huh. It's different. Um, let's see. Oh, we have some fun little hoop earrings with little gray and silver beads. Those are cool. I don't know where the match to this one is. A little turquoise piece. Oh, here's a blinged out hair clip. <laughs> Not jewelry, but a little accessory. Here we have a fun little... Uh, ring. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is broken, but looks like it could be repaired. Fun, looks a little Native American. Oh, another stretchy beaded bracelet. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is a stick pin. Oh, look at that. Look at that bird. That's beautiful. It's enamel. I like that. Oh, and I love these. This is a glass blown pendant. And look at that color. Oh, you could do it this color, the natural look, or this bright, beautiful blue. Oh, I might keep this. This is gorgeous. Oh, we have a funky 1980s earring. This one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, and here's a, this is a choker? Looks small. Stone is really cool. Natural like, colored, like crystal. And it's like a blue bangle. Oh, a fun little bracelet. Another bracelet. Um, oh, here. Fun little green stone earrings. Oh my goodness. A little fun little necklace. I don't think it's that old, but it's supposed to be made to look old. Got a fun little stretchy bracelet. Some glass beads. A necklace. I don't know what this is. Bracelet, I guess. Oh, this is fun. Look at this. It's like a wire bracelet all intertwined in like turquoise colored stones that's fun I like that and then we have a stretchy bracelet here looks like it's like some charms you can add to it uh, let's see oh this is a comfort nurse kindness this would be a great gift for a nurse a little beaded bracelet next we have a giant cross here very delicate. I'm not sure what's what it's made out of. But it seems to be bends really easily. Hmm. We have a fun little bracelet that says true. It's another stretchy. I don't know what this is. Is this for a watch or something? Just a bracelet. And then this one looks like it's worn out, but you could definitely use the beads. I mean, this would be great beads for crafting with. Um, some dumb plastic beads. <laughs> oh, here, here we go again. We have the magnetic necklace slash bracelet. This one has some prettier colors. I like that. Let's see, a mismatched earrings. 
seems like a little, I don't know if this is a broken earring or a pendant. Part of a watch. Some big beads. Oh, these, these are match. A little pair of dangly earrings. This earring. Another earring. All right, next I have this little necklace here with a heart pendant. Some stones. Oh, this is pretty cool. And I have this fun, I think this is a bracelet or a necklace. These are some fun turquoise beads though. I like that. Let's see. Dump it all out. And then we have these kind of purplish blue. I think it's just plastic bead necklace. Goodness. I think I'm not sure if this is broken up, but look at all these beautiful colored shell stones I and mean shell beads and glass beads. It's a mixture. And then have this long necklace. Definitely has a bohemian look to it. It's a fun necklace. Mismatched earring. Oh my gosh, and a tangled mess. I won't even begin to untangle this. <laughs> but look at all those colors. Just gorgeous. Let's see. We have a turquoise. This is part of a necklace. We have to fix that or use the beads. Oh, this is a cool pendant. I think this bead's just plastic, and then this is just wire. Got a little baby. God, this would be for like a four-year-old. Little bracelet. More beads. Let's see. There's another stretchy silver and turquoise bracelet. Oh, I got this beautiful. Let's see, gold and oh, just probably plastic butterfly stick pin. It looks like we just have like a lot of miscellaneous little beads and pendants to use for crafting. This one's a superstar. And that is it. All right, so that is all that I got in my Goodwill mystery jewelry jar. So what did you guys think? Did I get a good deal? Did I get ripped off? Um, I think I did pretty well. There's a few pieces I think I'll keep, and I think I can be able to sell some of the pieces, at least get my money back or maybe a little bit of profit. I ended up spending about $26 on this jewelry jar. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos of mine, definitely subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so you never miss a video. And until next time, see you later. All right, bye.